Hi there, my name is Matt Cole. And I'm Brian Garrity. And we are the producers of the Sexperts Podcast, and we are here with a returning champion. Champion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting champion. I'm getting French. As part of <laughs> Sorry, it's off the rails already. Uh, returning champion, Matt Holman. I am the champion after yes, all. Yes, you are. Welcome back to the show. I'm happy to be back, guys. So uh, talk to us. What have you been up to? What are your goals, your aspirations, <laughs> etc.? cetera? You guys can't see this right now, but Matt Cole just shot me like a piercing gaze when he said aspirations. Through my new microphone. I hope this sounds good to your ears. <laughs> I'm sure it does. I'm sure everyone's sitting there right now oh. just like... we got to get a picture. And I also have... You can't see this, but I have um, different colored uh, uh, microphone cables and everything. Mm. This is this is Gear Town, USA. We should do a live show sometime where people can see our gear. This is a live show microphone. Let's, show off, our, let's show off our gear <laughs> hold on guys is this an expert episode of uh gear town usa <laughs> yes it is oh good this is my favorite podcast this is our new, M- this is our new npr show <laughs> all right let's get back to matt holman what, what are you up to boo uh no boo um <laughs> no boo I've, I've been up to too much okay. uh you know oh ooh, i'm getting ready to travel for work <gasps> No way. Where? At the end of March, I'm going to El Paso, Texas for three weeks. Nice. Build that wall, bitches. (laughs) Yeah, that 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 is my job. Now that now that we have the money, finally, thank God. Oh yes. uh, I'm gonna go down there, and I've got like six bricks. Uh, I bought them. I put, you know how like sometimes you, when you like they're building a new building, you yeah. can like spend some money and get a brick with like your name engraved on it. Oh, I did that for the wall. <laughs> um, memo to sex purse listeners. Yes, please. National crisis. Averted. Oh, averted. Crisis averted. Let's see how this bell sounds in this new microphone. Ooh, Ooh that's crisp. <laughs> uh, what else? What comedy wise? Let's talk about uh, yeah. comedy. Okay, well, comedy wise, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, I am one of the members of Fake News, the musical. Oh, <gasps> nice. Which had our. You've always been though, right? No. So, <clears throat> oh, congrats! Um, after after our our good friend Alba. Oh, past uh, rest in peace, Alba. Yes, uh, Requiem <laughs> de Pache. We're all we're all in there. Uh, memo, uh, to, memo to sex worker listeners: We're once again a national emergency. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a good thing you have the national emergency bell ready to go. <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, the fake news musical, which we have a show coming up actually <gasps> at, at the end of March, which will be great at the Push County Theater in Norfolk, Virginia. That yeah? is correct, yes. Uh, and what, is it every Thursday? Every No, no. This one is last Saturday of the month, 8 p.m. Last Saturday, 8. Nice. Is that taking over uh, one of the s- previous slots? So it was Saturday? Double Trouble slot. Oh, and so nice. We kept the slot. We're more than likely keeping fake news and musical as well. That's awesome. I love that uh, show. You have been in it, though, right, as a guest? I was in a Double Trouble show as a guest, but it was before fake news. Okay. All right. Sweet. And, yeah. Um, it's hard to keep up. Talk, talk to us about fake news and musical. What to expect? Okay. Well, basically, the way it works is. <laughs> By the way, I have a knife. That I know. It's like <laughs> opening. Closing. It's like, talk to us about fake news, you motherfucker. <laughs> if I give you like the wrong answer, you're going to just like <laughs> get slip cut. my throat. You're going to get cut. <laughs> if you mispronounce an artificial sweetener. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's get back to this. Sorry, uh, podcast listeners. This was an inside joke, but we're talking about. Um, uh, Matt Holman here was talking about how aspartame <laughs> rots your teeth, and Brian was so incredulous. First off, about the pronunciation of aspartame. Second, that aspartame rots your teeth more than sugar. Is that correct? Yes, that that, that is true. Uh, listeners out there, you can Google this. Please fact check us. Googling does doesn't make it true. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, if if you Google it and you go to artificial sweeteners are the enemy. I can Google. <laughs> I can Google is Obama a Muslim and make that'll appear true. <laughs> well. Because it is, but you know, <laughs> let's let's uh, let's move on from that. Okay, fake news and musical. What yeah. is it? Oh, okay. So um, you show up. There's a whole bunch of newspapers. You clip out like little headlines. And the audience does this. Yes, the audience does this. Yeah, you got to do a little bit of work. There are scissors, <laughs> so please. We have a pretty young listening audience. You might want to define what a newspaper <laughs> is. Oh, okay. So newspapers yes, were invented indeed. by William Randolph Hearst Damn. in the 1920s. Uh, he was uh, the publisher of the New York Times. And the New York Times. I feel like clapping and saying one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It See is. how clap sounds on this. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. Two. You're going to want to bring those levels. You need to stop Three. clapping. <laughs> that's not going to be Four. conducive to the people. Five. Six. <laughs> 
Uh, Gear. Right. Oh, so anyways, okay, the audience... <laughs> The audience clips up uh, papers. Yes, they clip out like different headlines or articles that they think are funny or want to force the uh, players oh. to say. <laughs> bro, you're writing your teeth out. <laughs> no, no it's, it's Baja Blast, bro. And it, we got, well, Baja Blast is soda, first of all. It's delicious soda, don't get me wrong. Soda, nevertheless. Do the do. And then, so the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, uh, I, I don't know if you listen to the podcast, Kate, but if you do, I'm sorry for this terrible explanation. <laughs> It just you know get get better by the show date. <laughs> I'm trying to give the explanation, okay, but we it. just keep getting distracted. I'm sorry. Keep going. Okay, so there were Doing newspapers, well. and mm-hmm. we go and we clip out the headlines. Well, we don't do it; the audience does it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you clip out the headlines, and we do a, like a simulated news broadcast, and the two broadcast people read the headline, and then if it inspires them to do a musical improv scene, we go and we do a musical improv scene. That's that makes sense. That's good. I I've seen the show before. I I really really like the format. It's very fun, and um, yeah, it was with uh, Al before. Do you know? Did they create this form? Their style? Uh, did they see? I it somewhere? actually don't know the origin of I it. I don't know either. Yeah. Um, Alba, knowing Alba, she probably stole it and <laughs> slap her name on it like Trump. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, Alba, the Trump of the push comedy theater. <laughs> Uh, well, I can't wait to to see you in that. Uh, and yeah, I've I've seen you a lot in musical uh, improv. Oh, I'm, I, I I'm really a fan. love doing it. Yeah, so. you're really good. Thank you. Um, very entertaining to watch. Uh, and you and have you and Ed been in a scene together? Yes, Ed Ed and I. So Ed, I also <laughs> perform with True Life the musical, which is a musical Armando. God. So fake we news a- and true life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't. That should be a double header. Yeah, I didn't realize that until just now. I, I didn't realize until the other day. I have a coworker. Her, her name is uh, Deborah, and it's just the word zebra, but with a D. And so, so do you call her Debra? Debra yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's blowing everybody's mind, and it's, it's even her daughter. I went up to her and it's like, do you know your mom's name is just zebra with a D, and she's like, no, thank you for telling me. How old? How old was her daughter? <laughs> I think you're in her twenties. Okay, I was hoping it was like a four year old, and so like from here on out, she's only gonna call her Bob Debra. <laughs> no, she will from now on. She's got all of her life to call her Debra. Her twenties on. Uh, anything else you're in uh, into in comedy or uh, otherwise? Well, you know, I, I do have a couple teams, uh, but nothing on the horizon as of just yet. Uh, because are you on a Herald team? Oh yeah, of course. I've totally forgot. I'm on a Herald oh. team. Uh, please, please don't hate me. Uh, I am on Beckany. Period, colon, live by the sword. <laughs> There's a period? I didn't know there was a period. <laughs> There's a period at the colon. Uh, awesome. Yeah. The um, uh, a hot up-and-coming Harold team at the Push Comedy mm-hmm. Theater. And uh, Harold, if you're listening and you are unfamiliar, a long-form improv style, and it's every last Thursday? The third Thursday. Third Thursday uh, of the month at Push Comedy Theater. And tickets are $5 or is it free? I, I think it's free L- now. Lately it's been free. Yeah. Damn, that is value, guys. I feel you like can s- take that five dollars and you can put it towards a beer, yeah, yeah. or a or a really expensive <laughs> microphone, <laughs> or or you can send it to El Paso to and help build the wall. Build the wall. Five dollars goes to you. Five dollars goes to the wall. <laughs> Download uh, the cash app. <laughs> Wait, when you said build the wall, yeah. it made me think of for some reason of Beastie Boys No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Like the way you said that. Build the wall. <laughs> no. Sleep to Wall Town. <laughs> wall Town, USA. <laughs> Ooh, now Ooh. We, this is an episode of Wall Town, USA. <laughs> we just shifted from Gear Town a couple mm. minutes ago. You have anything else to say, Brian? Um, <laughs> what is I feel El- like you just took a shit and came back or something. <laughs> what does El Paso mean in Spanish? <laughs> uh, it means. It means. <laughs> good addition. I love that. Yeah. It, it means the past. Tell us. Oh. <laughs> It's exciting. Okay. Well, I, I don't really know. I'm just guessing. Th- thank you once again. I'll, I'll we could it. chat all day long, but we have to actually get to panties and a twist tonight. By the way, oh yeah, I'm not sure when this in Mexico gonna City. Air, when but... you ride the subway, you use a Metro El Paso. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good place to end, isn't it? All right. Well, Are we sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you again for being on the show. I'm happy to be here. Bye bye. How do you say coupon in Spanish? Okay, el coupon. <laughs>